Inside Racing is brought to you by Dunlop. Hello. Hello, I'm Henrik Romeike and this is my friend and sporting partner Marius. Together we won double gold in individual and team eventing at the Peking Olympics. And now you move your backside out of the way, yes you. You're not in the next bit where we're going to swap one horsepower for a couple more. The Hamburg Berlin Classic Rally. Motoring gems from over 100 years. 182 elegant classic cars cruising for three days along public roads. Romeika swaps his steed for what he's dubbed the Yellow Poisonous Dwarf, a 1978 Mitsubishi Lancer, a rare model and one that you could never miss. In fact, one of the first ever Mitsubishi cars in Europe. And here, with 55 horsepower, Henrik and co-driver are underway. It's the first time I've ever done anything like this. I'm expecting a paper chase for big boys. I'm very impressed by the sort of cars there are here. You don't get to admire so many cars at once in any museum. And with such great weather, I'm really enjoying it. You've just got to listen to all these great vehicles. Fantastic, incredible. And the key to success on the way to Berlin? To complete drive-through checks and special stages as precisely as possible. In the car with Henrik, Matthias Lang, founder of the Sport Meets Charity platform, where national sports stars are able to promote their charitable work. On the Hamburg Berlin Rally, he's co-driver and navigator. We must have passed it. We missed the photo sensor. Oh la la, the task is simply, oh well, it's done now. So we're going, that's the reason why. Okay, keep going, don't babble, carry on. <laughs> yep, I'm on it, okay. Okay. Keeping a close eye on the speedo, clock and roadbook is no easy task in the big city traffic. I find it very complicated, I have to admit. They've got every single movement written down here with where you've got to aim for next. And that, of course, means for the co-driver total concentration throughout the journey, especially as the driver's focused on actually driving. So you've got to work your way through the 180 pages of the roadbook on your own. 600 rally kilometers through three German states across the former internal German border and past idyllic natural parks. Collecting a stamp for each stage along the way is obligatory. Time for the Dunlop special stage. It calls for a perfect symbiosis within the team. co-driver becomes a navigation device with integrated stopwatch. Pass the photo sensor and the clock starts. At the Dunlop special stage, the cars go around a circular course. The participants don't just have to drive a particular route, but they have to go right around it, driving past multiple photo sensors on the way. Ultimately, there are six times that they need to adhere to, and they're kept busy not just with watching the clock, but also with turning left or right at the right moment. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Woo! Yeah, that was good, very good. Trying to be the fastest? That's not what it's all about. It's more about the journey. Time is gladly taken for spontaneous breaks, as being sociable is all part of the rally. But many a car limps along at the track. The oldest in the field, practically great-grandfather of the vintage cars, a 1907 Renault Grand Prix. Here helps immediately on hand. The tire is fitted with a tube. This tube lost air and then the valve got ripped off, so the tire was then flat. Now we've got to pull on a new tube or use a used one that we still had and then hope that it all works. 
a love for detail. To this day, the original tires are reproduced in identical fashion, initially on wooden and later on chrome steel wheels. These tires are made in England in very small runs, of course. As you can imagine, for such old tires for vehicles that are 80 or 90 years old, if you make 50 tires a year, you've by and large covered the global annual demand. They're made by hand, mainly in England, and so that's how we do it. They're very valuable items. Tires are not something you can recycle. Once they're worn out, they're worn out. 25,000 horsepower on 728 steeds took part in this classic Hamburg-Berlin rally. After 48 hours on the road, the final destination between Reichstag and Brandenburg Gate and a gallant 87th place, just above halfway for our rallying horsemen. Great sights, lots of fun, and I've got to visit some great new places too. An unforgettable ride out for the Olympic winner, Hinrik Remeiker. Inside Racing is brought to you by Dunlop.